So now we need to have enough money to buy the tram depot. Uh, oh, it's American, isn't it? American themed. The tram depot, which is $40,000. And we have no money. <laughs> no money. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa, here in our American-themed city. In the last episode, the first episode of this series, I showed you how to make a successful start to the city, which I think we did really, really well. We got up to 3,175 uh, citizens in our city and plenty of money. And today, we are going to be looking at our mass transit and, most particularly, the tram. Everybody likes a tram in their city, and I think the layout that we have is perfectly suited to a tram. So we've been sort of working on this super block, I think we can call it, uh, down here where we've got all of this lovely residential type housing down here, which comes from the big suburbs pack. Links below to the mods and assets used in this series and i think what we're going to do is complete this block and then we can have the tram running around the outside of this square and then at each cardinal direction so north east south and west i think that's the way we're going to do it i was actually going to be counting this as south and this is north on the map so that's more like northeast and the rest yeah uh, we're going to be having tram stops you can have a tram stop here to get off of the industry one down here to get off uh, for our burgeoning farm uh, one for down here for whatever's going to be in this direction and one over here for whatever's going to be in this direction which includes all the shops and stuff so that'll be cool so first of all to do that we need to sort of fill out this square and we do have the ability to buy another tile so we're going to buy this tile down here there we go excellent so we can now complete this grid There we go. Excellent. And then what we've been doing is keeping, whoops, the middle section of each five good. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So that'd be this one here. We've been keeping it separate, maybe for a bit of commercial or schools or something like that. And we'll mark it down as commercial for now. Uh, yeah, we have Spring Hills all the way over the top of that. I haven't seen your comments on episode one just yet. So no idea on any of the names that you lovely people would have suggested for all of these areas. So yeah, that will be in episode three. We'll get to have a look at those. So let's take this out from here as well. There we go. And then if we need it, we'll get some commercial. Let us fill in the water pipes. There we go, excellent, and we'll let that grow. Oh, one thing we don't have uh, is a cemetery. Um, could I just actually, if I un-anarchy that, will that fit in one of these squares? Not quite. Okay, that is slightly annoying. I'm wondering whether we could change this very middle section here. Yeah, let's do something here. If we take out, because this is going to have, oh yeah, we need to just upgrade some of these roads, don't we? We've got these roads coming through here, sort of the faster type road. There we go. The same as what we've got on the outside. It means we've probably got that one there. That's it, isn't it? So this is going to become a central point. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to take out the houses that are in there. Thank you very much for your service. Be gone. Uh, we are then going to remove these because we don't need them in there. Excellent. Are you still getting power from somewhere? Uh, yeah, we've got the power coming around the back. That's okay. We'll delete those then. Thank you all. And then this central section here, I would like to change it into a roundabout. That is a pretty good size. There we go. And then we'll have to boink, 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 and boink to get that going. Uh, these junctions are quite close, but I think we'll be okay. Um, oh, yeah. We need to do control, shift, left click. Get that all set up. Fantastic. What are the speeds on these roads? This one here. Wait. Thank you. 25, 25. This is miles an hour. This is pretty close. That close, pretty slow. That all of these are 25. So, can I change this for all the roads? I want this to be at least 30. So, if I select 30. That says kilometers per hour. That says miles per hour. I'm pretty sure this is miles per hour. 
Miles per hour. Oh, something happened there. Oh, hang on. Now these are changed. What? I thought I already had it set up to show the correct speed. So 40, 40, 40. Yeah, okay. That's fine. We'll leave it like that. I was going to see if I could just change all the roads that were the same per road type. But we'll just go with that. And then, of course, we want to make sure all the giveaway signs are set up correctly. So we'll do this. There we go. Select the road. Everybody off of this road give way. And we'll do the same over here. Everybody off of this road give way. Everybody off of this road. Or, you know, coming onto that road give way. We'll do that one. And we'll do this one. There we go. And then we just need to... I'll show you on the roundabout. We just need to redo the roundabout again. There we go. And any end pieces. Yeah, that's fine. I'll check those. Probably this one down here. Yeah, that should be... Oh, I didn't do the thing that I asked it to do. What? Come on, game. Give away. Like that. Yeah, thank you. Because then the end one, I need to do like that. Yeah, okay, good. Yep, yeah, I think we're all okay with that. Excellent. So that's going to give a little bit of interest to this central section. Doesn't actually help me for <laughs> adding in uh, this, which I was going to maybe do somewhere around there but i just like the way that looks so what i think we're going to do is we're going to pop that on the outskirts up against yeah it's going to come off the side road there and hopefully that will take care so we will have to start putting some other services around in other spots we've got no child care no elder care as well uh, are they unlocked in the game oh auto save quick sympathy they are so one of these will take in this whole area if we get it sort of yeah close to the roundabout if we go there so that's child care taken care of and then elder care oh it's always just slightly too big isn't it mm, i don't really want to take any of these roads out for this initial build so we could just pop that sort of on the side here and then we'll probably end up moving it later. Yeah, I think that will do for now. And then other services will do that as and when we need it because we just have no money. So <laughs> let's continue to fill this in. Uh, maybe all the way. I'm not going to fill in this central section here. And then hopefully these lovely people will start getting some power that they need. And yeah, we will take it from there. Excellent. So for our tram... We are going to change some of these rows. Let's just grab... I want to grab this one. This one's going to come out here and intersect possibly with that. That didn't do what I thought it was going to do. Can I not delete that, please? Delete. Above ground. Delete. Pick this piece of road. Come out. Yeah, there we go. Um, so, yeah, it's going to come up and down these sides. So, this piece here. Let us have a look at our tram stuff. Now, looking through the roads, we've got lots of one-way roads, lots of very thin roads, all sorts of clever things. These are good. Uh, not for this spot here, but definitely another time. Uh, they are... It's a tram and a, a car share the lane in the middle. And then the side ones are for parking spaces, apparently. Oh, we've got lots of extra things over here. What have we got? Oh, what are these? Yeah, okay, nice. Uh, where's the parking stuff? Here it is. So if we grab, say, some of these, yeah, look, they snap to the side. Then you can have parking. So for in, uh, for sort of commercial places that you might uh, go and visit, that you want to take the tram to, that could be quite good. Oh, excellent. This is also the other thing I wanted to do, was unlock some extra factories so we can make more money with our industry. So we will pause on the tram momentarily. And let's just take a look at that. If we switch all the way over here. So first of all, I know we're getting a lot of crops uh, in our area. So we need to add another small grain silo. So we could do that. We also have small barns. Um, what are these hold? 300,000. These hold 400,000. So maybe we could just sneak a small barn in sort of by the farm here. Because I think that sort of looks nice. That's going to help with our capacity. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put that on balance, which it is. Excellent. So then I want to start using these items 
And we have no money. <laughs> no money. What have we got here? Cattle shed. No, which is the one I want? Flour mill. Oh, what's that going to cost us? 15,000. Yeah, it's going to take longer than I thought. We will come back to that because we're going to spend a load of money now on putting our tram in. So I'm wondering whether we could take some loans. Yes, we could. Well, let's take both of these loans. And then let's put this in first because we've got to spend money to make money. That is much bigger than I thought. Could we have this over the end here? If we bring this road down... There we go. So we can start making use of the crops into flour. And as always, we want some sort of storage for that, for the flour. Um, so let's pop in. I always think you don't want to store flour outside. So one of these warehouses right opposite. And we're going to have that on balance. I'm sort of leaving everything on balance at the moment. And then we can come back and see if we want to change any of those things. And then we know that can then be used in our first factory over here which needs crops and flour i think that's it isn't it crops and flour yeah to make these tasty goods so let's grab this there we go excellent just to sort of keep the traffic off of the main road that's the idea there we go excellent so i'm leaving room for parking perhaps and that sort of stuff in the future for when we tur tur on, <laughs> turn on the parking ai which we don't have at the moment so we're going to leave that as it goes um i feel like this needs a little bit more roadness going around the outside there we go excellent so we now should be making if we whack this up animal products from over here oh let's just check so we've got flour in there we've got crops in here we've got animal products down here so we're storing everything that we need which is good um yeah and then the only thing is the pastry so actually we need a storage for those don't we so let us hope we can afford yes another small warehouse Oh, it's a shame that doesn't fit in there. Do you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that. And I want this to back onto a road over here. So how many squares out does that need to be? Let's grab that. That needs to be one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Like that. Would that be enough? Let's grab another one of those. Yeah, perfect. There we go. And we'll have that for unique factory products and we're going to have that one on empty because i want those to be sold straight away to make us lots of moolah excellent whoa that was pretty big ah oh, that is annoying it goes straight over the gravel road darn i'm gonna have to find some other way of filling in the concrete aren't i well never mind we will go with that for now and i feel like some of these roads down here just need to go straight through and the farms can sort themselves out excellent we'll leave that going and that's level two what does it need to level three it needs 200 workers we've got space for 122 so we're gonna have to need to upgrade that a bit but we know we're near filling that in how is our unemployment is at 12 percent good grief so obviously we need to be working on a little bit of that right what other needs do we have let's get filling this in so these have all filled in nicely Let's just fill another row in there. And that should do for now. We also do need some more commercial. And I'm thinking the other side of the road over here. This is going to become sort of a high street. If we go all the way up to there. Yep, that's fine. And that should do it. Then we're going to build off the back of this. Right, so now let's get back to our tram network. So we've got 21,000. Hopefully that is going to be enough. I'm going to go with the four lane normal tram road uh, with the tram tracks and all of that down here. So let's carefully upgrade this. Hopefully we're not going to mess with anything. No, we're fine. Oh, there we go. And then it's going to turn up the side here. So this is why I wasn't too worried about the sort of road we were using there because we're going to change it anyway. I'm thinking the standard two-lane road with tram tracks is going to be our answer because we're going to have a tram route going clockwise and anti-clockwise. That's going to be the plan. Just look and see if there's anything else interesting. A lot of these two-way road with tram tracks, that they're sort of sharing the tram track. Yeah, let's go with this one. If I find anything a bit later that I want to change it to, we can do that. Oh, 
Oh, not enough money. There we go. And electricity. Uh, yes, the age-old problem. Uh, let's take a look here. So, yeah, availability is okay. It's that uh, distance thing again. Now, I did off-camera, while I was preparing and thinking about what I was going to do this episode, buy us another coal power plant. So, we've got uh, this one over here, and we've got this one over here as well. Um, so, I dropped these figures here uh, down a bit, but we can just pop those up. Let's put them up to 120, and then hopefully... Let's just pop these up as well. We're getting more and more houses coming in. Doink, doink, doink. There we go. Run that on speed three, and that will take care of everybody. Yes, it will. Excellent. And then we can start getting our money in. Oh, no. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that. Gigantic fire truck. Thank you, ladder number eight. Was that uh, the number? It came and went so quick, I missed it. Right. <laughs> Let's save up some more money, then we can get the rest of this done. And there's the last piece. Excellent. Uh, we just need to double check. Uh, dedicated turning lanes and giveaway signs is okay there. Uh, dedicated turning lanes there we go and dedicated turning lanes giveaway sign is all fine excellent um oh yeah and going up the side here the giveaway stuff shouldn't have changed no that's fine okay very good very good so now we need to have enough money to buy the tram depot uh oh it's american isn't it american themed the tram depot which is forty thousand. we're gonna say dollars Oh, my giddy aunt. Well, I'll tell you what. While that is uh, being saved up for, I would like to have a look at this roundabout. This roundabout is atrocious. It's got all these giveaway signs absolutely everywhere. Um, so we're going to spend a little bit of money uh, changing this. And um, we've got these big urban roads too late. Let's just pause while we do this because we can get our money back. And also these are turning around the corner. So if we did something like that... That looks a lot better, doesn't it? I don't think these... No. And not those. No. So let's use this one. And we can upgrade literally all of this. There we go. Like that. Um, then we can do a bit of Hugo there. If we grab that. There we go. Control S. And they will definitely stick in their lane. This is separated out to go each way on the highway. So that's fine. So we'll do that one. And we'll do that one very good and then what about some giveaway signs and that sort of thing so for that we can use the intersection marking tool if we grab that let's see so if we go all the way along there and then we should be able to just change that to dashed uh double dashed double solid double dash there we go uh offset 0.5 they're gonna be at that weird angle because of the angle of the road do i want to adjust any nodes if I flatten that out like that, um, so that was this one, wasn't it? So do I need to do that with all of them? Is that going to mess up the roundabout at all? Flatten it out, flatten it out, flatten it out. I think I did this one. Yeah. And then they're nicely lined up. And actually, I think that looks a lot better. Yeah, let's do that. Um, and then back to intersection marking tool. And then what we can do is... Yeah, I think something like that would look okay. So what we can then do is copy that. And then if we go around to each one of these where they're coming on, we're just going to pop that line in there and then paste. There we go. Excellent. This one here, we shall pop that line in there and paste. Excellent. And then finally, whoops, there we go, exited out of the thing by mistake. We will pop that one in there and do paste. That is a good start. And then maybe we could just do a little bit down here. So let's grab, actually, I'll tell you what I'm going to do before I forget is this bit here. You can go straight through. So don't stop in the middle. You can go straight through and you can go straight through there. That'll be fine. And then in here, let's grab this bit. So, what do we want to do here? We want to do hold shift to get a nice straight line there. Or a nice thick line, I should say. And that one, and that one. Then we can hold alt, and we can start doing a filler. Boink and boink. Excellent. We've got a lot of grass going on here. So, maybe we could just adjust that to grass. <laughs> that sort of faded in slowly, didn't it? Excellent, and let's have a look. 
add a bit of curb on there. Yeah, I think that's about it for there. And then what we can just do is add some lines in. So these are going to go to... There's the middle there, isn't it? So that's it, really. Oh, wow. Oh, I thought they were green. They look green to me there. My eyes deceived me. I think they might have done. They did, didn't they? When you first put them down. <laughs> Let's take that away. Yeah, we'll remove that. Pop it in. It's like faded from green. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll leave that as it is. So I think that is probably all we need to do. In this central section here, I probably don't necessarily need to monkey with that. So let me get these other three... Well, probably this one and this one. There's nothing really to do over here. Um, and then hopefully we'll have enough money to do what else we need to do in the city. Yeah, there's definitely something with the graphic settings I've got. It takes the colour and then it sort of fades, doesn't it? <laughs> After I've done it. Okay, very good. There we go. That's working pretty well. One other little slight change is over here. They're switching lanes, so I want each of those lanes to be picked down here, and then they go up there, and then this bit's fine when they come in. Yep, yeah, no problem at all. We will go with that. Excellent. What have we got? 73,000. That is more than enough. So this is going to be quite noisy. Let's just uh, pick that. Oh, auto save. Oh, another sip of tea. <laughs> Why not? Oh, thank God. Um, so if we take this, yeah, we've got a big... So we don't want it sort of up against the side here. It will be better to have it hmm, further away. Don't really want to get into the farming district. Where would be a good spot for this? Okay, I'm thinking what we might just do is bring it down this road here, right up near to the train tracks, or as near as you can without the sounds affecting those places. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to grab this road and upgrade that into there. So that should be fine. Uh, let's just do that and check the giveaway. Yep, yeah, that is all okay. So that is now ready for our tram stops. So where are we going to do this? We're going to want... Let's put this on so we can see what we're doing. So if I went there, that's going in the wrong direction, isn't it? So it's this side. One here for this section and one here for this section. And then going up here, because don't forget we've got an area of effect sort of thing... Um, that will help these houses to upgrade. But I'm thinking one per side, sort of in this middle, like this, of the five blocks that we have. So that'll be one there, one there, one there, and then one there. And then that will go back round again. Excellent. And then I'm going to do the same going in the opposite direction. There we go. Excellent. Now, I do have... The transport lines mod transport lines manager mod i think it's called yes here we go transport lines manager and i've not actually been through any of this at all so i'm going to learn how to use this mod and then we're going to try and make good use of it in our build one thing i do want to have enabled is the auto color online creation and auto name online creation so i might just need to rename my lines to get that to kick in we will check just in case um it's sorted it okay oh this is all looking different as well so train metro uh tram should be down here somewhere shouldn't it bus passenger train metro plane ship tram there we go tram line one tram line two all the same color let me just redo those oh actually hang on a sec pick a color from the palette for each line use auto name Oh, Spring Hills to somewhere. And this one is Sheffield Hills to Spring Hills. And pick a colour from the palette for each line. Oh, there we go. We can auto... Oh, that is fantastic. And then what else do we get here? We've got auto colour and auto name. Excellent. So actually, if we just take a look at our districts. So this is all in Spring Hills. I suppose that's where the somewheres come up. The fact that it's staying inside the same district. Okay, well, that, that sounds fair enough to me. Um, let's go back into here. 
And then I want to check how many vehicles... Ooh. Okay, we're getting a lot more information going on here. Let me make some space. Okay, lots of interesting information in here. Um, as we go through, we can see how much money that we're making. We can adjust our budget, but it's this one over here. So we can have them come from a specific depot. We can choose what model we're going to use. We're going to be using the standard tram and from the standard depot, which is good. And um, also over here, we can see passengers waiting and the time until board countdown, which which is fantastic to know because that way you can see whether people are queuing getting bored and then maybe moving off uh, for other types of transport options that's going to really help us with our decision making so hopefully now if this is all set up correctly we should see some trams coming out here we go and heading off yay into our city fantastic So I'm not entirely sure how many trams we've got on each line yet. Let's just... Oh, that needs some stuff. Lines overview. Um, where do I see how many people... How many trams? We've got three on here. Ah, here we go. Six. That is a lot of trams. So I'm wondering whether there's an easy way of changing this. Ah, okay, here we go. We just click on this. We can change how many trams. So I'm going to slide that down to four. Um, so that is for line number two. And then line number one will do the same. Actually, what I've learned is uh, if you close that, if you move this window down here, then click on that, we get it up here where we can actually do something with it. Oh, and that one's down to four already as well. Was that the same one? Let's have a look. They adjusted both down to four. Okay. I need to really read how <laughs> to use this mod a lot better. But I think that's working okay. We can go back and check how many people are using it, how much money we're making, and all that good stuff. Because we have this nice access down here to all of these shops, which is just what we want. Oh, we've got some nice, uh, nice buildings that have popped up in here that I haven't seen before. Very good, very good. Slightly different looking road there because we have the tram stops in there. Excellent. And then these stops over here, hopefully, will start providing access to our farming community. And what I would like to do, oh, we're making money, look at that, is add some, just some simple paths to get through here. And I did leave these free. So if we just turn off that one and come through here, I'm going to sort of just connect these up along the back here oh look at that that just lines up absolutely perfectly that one can continue to down there this is all walkable and then we could even add sort of this one out up to there if we need to and i feel like why not even another one there excellent uh, we do have this road for getting up here but again we've got the tram stop here so let's bring that straight all the way through. Decimate some businesses. Sorry about that. And we'll do the same. This is going to go via the dump. Whoa. We'll try that again. There we go. Excellent. How is this thing doing? Um, no, oh, 88% full. I couldn't see the figures for looking. Excellent. So now people have got walking ability to get around all of those. Um... Yeah, and this they can walk around the outside if they need to. Excellent. I think, I think we're doing okay. Why has that building there? Oh, is it not enough educated workers or something? Education, worker education too low. Okay, well, we said that was going to be an issue, didn't we? So let's just continue uh, filling in this area here. I'm a bit annoyed that these don't all line up. And I think that might just end up being one of those things. What I'm going to do is grab all of that. And set the height as the same just to see if that makes any difference at all no difference at all okay well that's fine um so let's check our schools and uh, if we come in this way so elementary school yeah we've got one and it is crammed so we are definitely going to have another one over here and it's going to go in this little spot actually we're going to leave the shops there i'm going to put it next to the shops we're going to just slightly break from what we've done uh high school no high school i was sure i put a high school in <gasps> did we not put a high school in right okay we need to add a high school and i'm wondering whether we could sort of slide it in somewhere 
where everybody could get to. Down by the shops is that end. Let's pop that over here. I think that'll be nice. Let's do that, and then we're going to grab these roads. There we go. We'll get that sort of grid shape going behind it. I want this one. Oops. Like, well, ooh, ah, this one. And we'll go like that. Uh, that is give way. That's all fine there. Excellent. Then we can add a little something, something. And what we don't have around here is parks. We are very, very short on parks. That isn't going to squeeze in there, is it? Oh, that's a shame. Um, I'll tell you what we're going to do then is we're going to take that out. Another 10. And then do that. And then we've got all of this space to play with. Oh man, getting like a weird blurry thing when I use this. I think I'm going to really have to look into my graphical mods and see what that is. If you know what it is, it's definitely the render mods, but I've no idea what to change to stop that happening. If you know, please let me know in the comments below. There we go. So hopefully that will start taking care of the high school needs. Let's just take a look. Going to end up needing another one. Oh, there we go. I'm looking at the wrong one. Yeah. And then university, I'm pretty sure we haven't unlocked yet. No, we haven't. So we will get back to that when we need it. And then we said we don't have many parks around here. Let's have a quick look at the land value. So it's pretty low. You know, it's not the best. Um, but this little area in the middle here, we could maybe sort of do a little something, something with this. So if we grab our park tool, and I'm just sort of going to take in this whole square like that and we're going to make that a park so again we're going to need let's try and get this lined up a name for this is that going to line up nicely maybe slightly there we go excellent crest gardens i mean it's not the most amazing park ever it's going to be like a roundabout park because why the heck not let's just do something different and interesting and let's see what we can add into here So this is a very slow roundabout. So I'm sort of changing things up here and putting... Oh, we've got a crossing. Um, so if I just go like that. Yeah, we can add a traffic light crossing over there on a roundabout. I mean, did you ever think you would see me do something like this? This is taking this roundabout to a whole nother level. But I did say it is going to be a... There we go. More of a visual thing rather than an actual necessity in the middle here. So no complaints. No complaints. Ah, uh, this is the setting. I wanted to set the blend coefficient for stationary fragments. This setting controls the percentage of recycled solar blend in the final kind of trailer, but then many can have movements. Look, now we don't get that weird blending. Why it's not set like that in the first place, I don't know. But there we go, it is now set like that. And in the middle of all of that, we have Busy Town with a population of 4,800. Excellent. Lots and lots of other things added. Let's have a scroll through here. Lots of new roads. Exactly what we need. Lots of obsolete roads. Fantastic. Some great big urban roads. 
be good to see what sort of new ones we get and a load of stuff by the side of the water for when we get down there excellent 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 so i was just finishing off this area here and adding in some trees and things that's not quite in the middle is it if i go over like that well that was good wasn't it uh let's try that again And I think that adds a little something there. And then we're going to get our tree brush for these last couple of little sections. And they're going to have a load of trees. Oh, I should turn that one off when I do this. A few more trees around there. Yeah. A couple more around there. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Some nice little parking. They can walk through there. Cars are still allowed on here, but more sort of pedestrianized roundabout park affair. I think that's good. So, yeah, what's this going to be called? Let me know the name of this one. Uh, price. It's the only part we've got. So, it's going to be main park. Uh, even more fun. Should we make it even more fun? Oh, that's for amusement park buildings. And the price, I think we're going to whack that up. No, do you know what? We're going to make it free. Let's make that a free park. Why not? Excellent. Well, let's take a look at our trams and see how they are doing. Um, it's got zero on here, so I don't know whether that means we're not making any money, which, you know, to be honest, most of the time you don't make much money with your transportation, but we've got people on here. So let's just have a look at that. So out of these four trams, you're not too bad. We've got people on that one. Uh, what about this one over here? Ooh, uh, ooh, uh. <laughs> I just want to move it. It won't let me move it. I hate this window. Okay, we'll have it like that. Yeah, not so many people using that one. Okay, In and now it jumps over there. What is the... <laughs> Let me zoom out. There we go. I don't know how that works. But interesting, looking at the time until board thing here. So as long as that doesn't reach zero and they head off elsewhere, which I don't think it will with this many trams, we could probably drop the trams, to be honest. We've got four. Let's drop that down to two. So that's on to... And that's also on too. Okay. And see whether that makes some difference. Whether we're going to end up making any money on our trams. Who knows? I think we'll just leave it as default. I might even not be charging enough money. Oh man, we're getting some problems here. Right. Our landfill site uh, needs emptying. But doesn't have another facility. What have we unlocked? Uh, we still only have the recycling centres. We need to get to 7,000 to get to there. Now I know we can sort of cheat. And... Yeah, get rid of those with the Move It mod, but I don't want to do that. So I think what we're going to do is build a little recycling complex uh, somewhere. Where could we do that that's away from everywhere else? Yeah, I think we're going to use this piece of land out the back here. We're sort of heading into our oil industry, I believe it is, but I think we'll be okay. Let's just come away a little bit further, and we're going to just sort of line that up to there. That will do... And then we're going to pop one. Oh, I was hoping we're going to get three in there. If I turn off the anarchy mod, it might just lose a building. We're going to get three of those along there. Um, and then let's just get that running. Uh, we don't have dedica dedicated turning lanes going out, but that's fine. We'll do giveaway like that. And then oh, what options do we have for trucks? Uh, we don't. we just got the bog standard trucks. Okay, that's fine. Uh, these will need some water. No, they won't because it's already all set up. Excellent. So they are going to head out into our city. Now I've noticed they're crossing over the median there. So we can come out of this view and we can change that. If we grab this road, but go for uh, this one, I think, and upgrade one side of these. There we go. Excellent. And we just need to do this again. Very good. That looks a little bit better, doesn't it? Yeah, so... I would expect these on the end to be rounded over here as well. If we select that and do that, it doesn't round it off. Is there some way? There are so many different ones. That doesn't... That doesn't... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't fully understand all of these roads, but we'll go with that. That's fine. So that's going to take care of the trash, hopefully. And then the rest of it is just getting enough education in, isn't it? Yeah, we definitely need another little elementary school down here. Uh, let's grab this one. I'm sorry, your houses are going to be demolished. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. There we go. Excellent. And then what I'm also thinking is around the outside of this is also going to start to be commercial as well. Just along 
like this strip and this strip. We probably don't need this power cable here. Nope, so that can go. Any other unnecessary power cables? We've got this one going around the outside, so this one can go. Hopefully that doesn't mess anything up. And I think that's okay. We've still got that one there. Yep, that's all right. And then at some point, we'll probably end up doing the same down here as well. So I'm going to run this along the back. There we go. And we might even... Oh, I'm just thinking, actually, bicycle paths. Let's leave it for that for now. And then we might pick out a nicer path that we can change it to at some point. Just looking around, we are seeing our walking paths are getting great use now for people that want to walk to work, which is fantastic. So that is going to help with the cars on the road. We've got some of these using these long ones down here. This will all get built up at some point. What about these ones going over to the farming area? Yeah, they're using those as well. Excellent. Not too much cycling going on. We'll come back to that. I know we've got policies and things in the game that can help with that. What about this one along the back here? Nobody using that one. I wasn't expecting that much. Okay, that's fine. Um, and also, uh, let's just come back over here again. Now that we have, boink, 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 we have these recycling centers. We can now empty that. So I'm going to empty that into this area here. And I'm hoping that we are now taking care of all of our trash needs. Processing status probably need a little bit more. That's probably gone down because of this. But hopefully that will keep us going. And how's things going? We're expanding out nicely. We've now almost, almost, almost filled in this entire square. Still have some more needs over here for commercial. I'm going to run that all the way up there. Yeah, we're going to end up with commercial all the way around this, aren't we? We seriously need more <laughs> industry as well. But we'll get to that. Do you know what? I'm just going to fill in. Uh, all of this. All of this around here because why the heck not? Oh, there we go. Level two. That's our nice little roundabout park. Fantastic. There we go, finally covering our garbage processing that we need for our city. Super, super busy, but that's fine. Ow, oh, we've got more needs for residential, lots of needs for offices and stuff. When do we actually get offices? Uh, let's move forward one more. 7,000 seems to me like it's possibly the one where we do. Yes, it is. We're at 5,300 odds. But this is looking really nice. Our little park's doing really well. Let's just take an overall look at that. Look at that. The grid working absolutely fantastically. Let's just check the traffic on here. Look at that. 89%. And only a couple of teeny tiny little hotspots and people complaining about a lack of power. We need some power down here. We are seriously stretching our budget uh, geothermal power, I don't think, has... Oh, it's got a mm, noise pollution. I think we're going to have a little power plant over here when we get to it. But that should help with the distance thing. But that's more than enough than what we need. So if I do this and this and move it... Can I move this box? No, I want to move it so I can see these houses down the bottom here. And if I drop this down, I can see whether we're still actually making enough. 
boink. There we go. Excellent. So don't forget to let me know all of your ideas for names for our oh, hottest place to live, our new American themed city here. Um, so I'll be looking through the comments. We'll get to those in the next episode. And if you're new as well, please, please subscribe. It helps me out and it helps you out. So you don't miss out on the next episode of either my American themed build or I have a UK themed build where we're using more rods, uh, rods, mods like Rico. That's where the R came from. Uh, and plopping and placing and detailing and that sort of thing. So be sure to check that out too. Have a fantastic day. I will see you all very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.